morning, good afternoon, and good evening to you, the good and wonderful people of the tube. Hello, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening again. Hey, double. I uh, hope you're all today, hope you're feeling grand and all as well. Uh, somebody asked me a question the other day, uh, which one of my guitars is my favourite guitar of all time? And the answer is this one. Oh, this is uh, my, you've seen it in a lot of videos, it's a uh, 2002 uh, Mexico 60s reissue Strat and uh, I've had it, I bought it new in 2004, uh, I've been playing guitar since 2002, I really like the fact, I started playing in May 2002 and this guitar was made in April 2002 so I, I love that, that it's really, I, I don't know, there's something very cool about that. Anyway, uh, I ended up buying it, I was kind of, and as cliche as, and as weird as it sounds, I went into a, the guitar shop we had in town at the time and uh, I was there to buy the Kurt Cobain Jagstang and uh, that had sold five minutes before I got there uh, which is very weird and the guy hadn't picked it up so it's still there but anyway and I thought well I'll look around and uh, I was going down this rack of strats he had and um, I'd been in there a lot of times and I've never seen this guitar it must have been there when I'd been in previously but I didn't see it and uh, I got to the end of a row and it was hidden behind a, a 50s reissue of this a two-tone sunburst one and it was like literally like and I say, I, I say, it does sound weird and odd, and odd, but I do feel like it was kind of like almost drawn to it. It's very odd to say, and very kind of, very kind of strange feeling I had towards the guitar. And I picked it up, and I literally must have gone, <laughs> and I literally was like, I need this. I need this guitar. It's just something about it. It just spoke to me in in, in ways that no guitar at that point had, had, had did. And uh, I was predominantly a Les Paul kind of person up to that as well, up to this Strat. I was just like, wow there's something about this and um, it's really loud on its own without an amp it's it's a very kind of like loud guitar and it's got louder over the years as well um, and I bought it and I've, I've, I've kind of like played it live since up until about two years ago where I developed a fear of somebody stealing it I was like I was, I got, I got it in my mind. I was convinced that someone would rob it one day, and uh, I was terrified of that. So I stopped gigging it because I can't. If this got stolen, I would be a broken man. And I'm sure some of you out there know, you know, know uh, uh, what I mean by that. It, it, it would literally like be the worst thing that could happen. Um, I know, I kind of some people might look at that and go, "What? It's only a guitar." But it isn't just a guitar for me. This is this is this is something else. This is kind of a, an extension of my being, so to say. But um, I say I, I gigged it straight, and I say all the wear you see, all the chips and the dents and the, and the broken scratch plates, and you know uh, all the chips and stuff. That that's all happened naturally over the years. I think I mean, I'm relic this. The only thing I have done to it is recently I took the uh, lacquer finish off the back of the neck just to make it feel. I found I did it to one of my guitars, and I was like, "That is just really nice." So I did it to this one, and I was like, "Oh my god!" You know, as if this guitar couldn't get any better, it just did. Uh, it's all stock. Uh, the electrics are all stock: select switch, pickups, tremolo. The only thing that isn't stock is when I first had it refretted, the Overzealous guitar tech, in the inverted brackets, decided he would replace my low E string saddle with a, a no-name blank one because he said it was worn out when it wasn't worn out these are the original saddles and they're still not worn out um, so I don't have the original low E string saddle which I'm not I wasn't happy about and still not happy about and he binned it and uh, or used it on one of his guitars I don't know but either way I wasn't happy about that and that really annoyed me and uh, does to this day so I've got a no name saddle on the low E which is kind of annoying but other than that this guitar is just immense it really <laughs> And I've only ever played one other guitar where I've picked it up and gone, it speaks to me like this one does, and it was a 1964 Fender Strat, and I did a video on it a long time ago when I worked back in Old Hat, and it was sunburst, and it was really worn and really played in, and that's the only other guitar other than this one I've ever picked up and gone, I felt that same feeling. I know, I know it sounds a bit weird to say, but it, it really was, it was the only other guitar, other than that, this, this, is, this is the ultimate for me, it really is, as I say, I've got Jimi Hendrix on the back of headstock there. Uh, I've, I've engraved my name and the birth date into the neck plate there. My name is literally plastered on everything on this guitar. It's on the pots, it's on the pickups, 
So if anything, if it did ever get stolen or ripped to pieces by somebody out there, it's all kind of maimed and whatnot. It's under the, it's in the neck cavity. It's everywhere. Um, probably the only place it is is on, not on the tremolo block, but uh, it's just. This is the best guitar I own, I absolutely adore it. There's just something about this guitar that it's just, it's just, it's me, if that makes any sense. But anyway, so yeah, 2002, Mexico, uh, Fender Mexico 60s reissue, it's just the ultimate guitar for me. And I say the lacquer's no longer sticky on the body and it's just literally flaking off now. So uh, one day I might have to, maybe, Hopefully not, but I might have to do something about if all the finish falls off. Hopefully it won't. But I say it's all this coloured in weird ways and it just sounds immense. So yeah, I hope this answers your question. 2002, all stock apart from the saddle, thanks a lot of guitar tech. Um, yeah, 60s reissue, strap. Thank you very much. See you again for another video soon. Goodbye.